Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and today we're going to be taking a look at the final DLC for Call of Duty World War 2. I can't believe this game's life cycle is almost over. It seems like just yesterday we had Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield traveling the world and doing interviews and getting people hyped up for the game, and now suddenly it's August, and the final DLC has been revealed, the final updates are upon us, and Block Ops 4 is set to release in exactly 50 days. So DLC 4 is called The Shadow War, and it features three multiplayer maps, one more map and one Nazi zombies map. Now what's interesting about the zombies map is they specifically said it was the final chapter which seems to hint that the story is going to be concluded and it won't be picked up in 2020 when Sledgehammer releases their next game. Now of course it's possible that they just mean this is the final map of Call of Duty World War 2 and if we look at the Friday the 13th franchise we can learn that final chapter does not necessarily mean there won't be any more sequels but regardless I'm interested to see what zombies fans think of this map and what they think of the zombies experience as a whole. On the multiplayer side of things, we have the map airship, which is set high up on top of a snowy mountain with, you guessed it, a big airship right next to it. We have excavation, which is set at a dig site, and we have chancellery, which is set in nighttime Berlin. The war map is called Operation Arcane, which features Nazi scientists and what appear to be zombies weapons, so all in all, I think it's going to be a rather interesting DLC. The Shadow War is set to release in just 5 days time on August 28th for the PlayStation 4, and then 30 days later on September 20th. 27th for the Xbox One and the PC. That is quite the release schedule because Xbox and PC fans get the final DLC for this game 15 days before Black Ops 4 comes out. That was sort of to be expected, I suppose, because Black Ops 4 is releasing one month earlier than normal, but one big thing I would like to mention before we end off the video here today is that with DLC 4, they're giving us a new deal when it comes to the season pass. So right here at the very end of the trailer, it says if you or any of your friends have the Call of Duty World War 2 season pass, then the entire party can have access to the DLC 4 maps. I think that's actually a really cool feature because even though I don't think a lot of people are going to take advantage of it. I really don't think a lot of people are going to be playing or buying DLC 4. I still think it's really cool that Activision is thinking outside the box when it comes to DLC and map packs. What's done is done, obviously, right? Call of Duty World War 2 had a season pass. It has its exclusivity deal. It's had all these things, but when it comes to Black Ops 4, we still have no idea what's going on with the Black Ops pass. We've heard time and time again from Treyarch's community manager that they are going to give us more information about the pass soon, but they've been saying soon for a couple of months now now and they haven't made an official statement addressing all the Black Ops Pass backlash. So who knows, maybe this is a sign that Activision is looking to rework how they handle DLC going forward, or maybe it's just their way of trying to convince more people to buy the Season Pass or buy the Map Packs by giving them a free taste of DLC 4. But either way, Call of Duty World War 2's final Map Pack has been revealed, which means that this game's life cycle is pretty close to over. What a year it has been for the Call of Duty franchise. For better or worse, this was definitely a controversial year. It was an interesting year, and I'd love to hear what you guys think about DLC 4 down there in the comment section below. But one final thing, we had no idea this trailer was going to be coming out today. We had no idea DLC 4 was going to be coming out so soon. So I actually had a different video planned for you guys this evening. I'm still going to be uploading the video later on tonight. I've spent the past like three or four days working on it, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. So stay tuned to the channel. The video will be going up in a couple of hours, but for right now, I'm going to end off this video by showing you guys the DLC 4 trailer in its entirety for those of you who have not seen it yet. But once again, let me know what you think about the DLC down there in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for listening, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Ball turn gunner inbound! Get the tech. 
Blow the place and get back home. We have a weapon on the tech schematics! Escort the tank! We need to take out the crown technology! Why are they attacking the Nazis? Are they feeding on them?